guys, Kevin here. So we're on the ground because I'm going to show you something about this truck, okay? We had a couple things done to it. We had an airbag system installed on the rear end, one there, one over there, okay? There's the bracket and stuff like that. It did not interfere with our, um, our current suspension. So remember we had a six inch lift kit put up by Rough Country and we also went from 33 inch to 35 inch tires. So that was another two inches. So you're looking at eight inch total lift kit. Here is the onboard com air compressor. And here is the remote. You can get up to two preset settings. Um, it is a digital readout. So you may be wondering, why do we want an airbag system? Okay, well, you don't have to get an airbag system, but I recommend it because I've been doing this for four years. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of times I wish I had some extra support suspension wise back in the back, especially on a half ton. You know, some of you guys got, you know, heavier duty trucks, three quarter tons, one tons. That's a little different story, but on this half ton, um, so on all vehicles, the higher percentage of which brakes work harder to stop the vehicle are going to be the front. I don't know what that percent is. So this is a 16 foot trailer. It can hold a lot of weight. Uh, so if we have a lot of weight right here, not necessarily there, but over here, you're going to have, you're going to start pushing a lot of weight down here. That's called payload factory for this truck. The payload is 1,580 pounds. That's not a lot. That's not even a ton. Okay. It's called a half ton. So, um, We've, we've, we've really uh, put a lot of weight on this thing that <clears throat> pushes the rear end down, but I needed to have better control over braking, okay? And then also, I didn't want my rear end to sack so much and damage the suspension because I'm always pulling a lot of weight. So, on this airbag system that we have, okay, I don't remember the brand, but it, it will go, it'll hold up to 5,000 pounds. So now my payload is 5,000 pounds. Uh, it does have a max of 100 PSI and on this controller uh, let's see here get it out for you here on this controller right here is two preset settings it's digital it's wireless okay so you can preset either one that you want uh, I think the bottom one I have at 5 PSI and the top I have at like 50 so whenever you have uh, a lot of weight uh, on here or you're about to put a lot of weight on here go ahead and air it up you know as far as you think you're going to and then uh, you know once you use it a few times you'll kind of know you know where you need to be and then if you're if you're tipped up like that you know you may want to let it come down a little bit so this is max 100 psi we're gonna take you guys to 5 psi which is all the way at the bottom okay preset 5 They do have bumper stops, so they will stop on that bumper, which is what my factory height is. And so now the weight is resting on the bumper, uh, the the rubber bumper that's on the uh, the install. So you see now our trailer's a little level. So where the back is a little lower than the front, so we would now there's no load in the back, so we would actually go up a little bit on the PSI because uh, I want that trailer up just a tad. But uh, anyway, so this is a good thing to have because now I could carry a pallet of grass in there, one or two pallets in there, and be fine, you know, on a half ton truck because now my payload's 5,000 pounds. That's a big jump. So for about 1,400 bucks, this is probably one of the best upgrades I've done to the truck so far. You know, of course, we got the off road bars and the off road lights and stuff like that. And we're eventually going to get. Uh, uh, what else are we going to do? Uh, we're going to get the windows tinted black. And I think we're going to add these kind of steps right in here. Something like that. Uh, see what I can find. But I have to make sure they're not too low because when you get close to like turning 90 degrees, I don't want this corner of the step to interfere with that. So we'll see. Uh, I can't go past that bumper. So we'll see what's available. But anyways, 
We're also going to add a fuel cell, 25 gallon fuel cell that's going to go in the bed of the truck. So I'll be able to carry 50 gallons of gasoline. Uh, it'll be bolted down and it'll have the, uh, the electric pump system, uh, which will be really good. And we did go earlier, remember last year, year before, we went with a heavy duty battery. We went a step or two steps above what we really needed for the truck because I knew I was going to have upgrades down the road. Uh, anyways, other than that, you know, this was just a, a little quick kind of introduction to the airbag system that we have. Oh, so we could air it up. Uh, let's do this real quick. So, you know, you can air up one PSI at a time, right? So let's just go to, I don't know, for example, 20. Hear that? I know it's hard to tell that it's raising up because I'm shaking a little bit, but it's raising up. So that's 20 PSI. Now it uh, does have uh, automatic, um, uh, whatever PSI you have it set at, it will maintain that. Whether it's got to add or release, uh, it will maintain that PSI. So it's automatic uh, leveling to whatever the PSI you have set, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, we're we're going to head out. We're going to go do a couple of errands, and you know that's going to be that. But I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, as far as mowing videos, I'll try to get some up soon. We've been so busy. Um, that 72 is a freaking monster, dude. I I'm so glad I bought the 72 and not uh, like a 6 or 61. I mean, I'm talking about width wise. I'm glad I went with that wider, the widest one you can get. I'm the only one in the Houston market with that mower, a Z372. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, on these front lawns, like this right here, I use that 73 or 72 on here. Uh, three passes and you're done. Uh, and then I do one pass on the other side and the 36 can catch the sides between the houses because it's not quite wide enough. It's not over there. It is over here. And so in the front yard, generally 15 minutes, I'm done. And then Caden takes the 36 and the trimmer in the backyard. And same thing, about 15 minutes. So 15 minutes on a property like this, we're done for 40 bucks. Pretty good for two guys. If you knock out 20 of those in a day, you're going to know you're good. But anyways, uh, so we have a lot of commercial properties we've picked up. A lot, a lot of regular residentials we've picked up. Um, the hardest thing for me is finding guys who want to work. You get guys who, I had one guy text me yesterday, you know, he said, Hey man, you know, I just got laid off from a job and, um, um, you know, I was wondering if you had any work, you know, and I said, yeah, and I, I know the guy, right? And I said, yeah, he goes, well, can you pay me cash? I said, yeah, it'll be cash, but you got to fill out an I-9, you know, 1099. And, uh, he said, well, just curious how much you're going to pay me because, you know, uh, in the mornings I meet this guy at the gym, you know, I'm a trainer and I get a pretty good amount. I don't want to miss that. And plus I'll be getting, you know, um, unemployment. And I said, well, you know, I can only pay you at 12 an hour, right? So it's like after taxes, it's 10. But hey, if you don't have a job, you know, at the end of the week, that could be $600 or more or less, whatever, you know, I mean, we're really busy. And so he's like, no, nah, that's okay. I'll pass. It's like, motherfucker, you know, we don't really want to work. We really don't want to you know, do with everything you can to, you know, for you, your family, and your kids. You know, you want it to be fucking easy, you know, and it just, it's, it's, there's no real fucking men out there anymore, man. I mean, there are, don't get me wrong, but it's like, people don't want to take care of their families. You know, I work almost fucking every day, you know, and when Danielle was alive, dude, I work almost every day, five to seven days a week, uh, because I work, you know, not because, you know, oh, we needed every single dollar, which we did, but... You know, I made more than enough money to pay for the house, two brand new cars, take care of her, five kids, pay for in insurances, everything. I had like a bad, we had a goldfish, but we had to get rid of that. It cost too much money. Um, anyway, so, um, and that's what I did because those were my obligations and my responsibilities, and I was glad to do it. And so now we're still working, and we're going to grow the business this year. I was offered a chair with a BNI group, and I turn that down because I really don't need it. They said, well, you'll get a lot of business. I fucking get a lot of business now, you know, because of what I built starting four years ago, not because I'm buying into a group and can't guarantee that stuff. They want $1,000 up front for two years, and then they were going to vote to see if they wanted me in the group. If they didn't want me in the group, I would get my money back minus the processing fee, and I don't know how much that is, probably a couple hundred bucks. Fuck you, I don't need you. You know, you ought to vote first to see if you want me in the group, then I'll fill out the shit, but even then I don't. Um, and I listened to, you know, to their, um, 